Welcome back. So... And... This is another beer testing. Testing? Tasting. Intro rolling as usual. So, this is the first beer of three. Uh, it's another brew dog. I'm just going to be doing a few brew dogs now and again. Um, so, unlike the last one, I don't think this one will pop. Um, probably very good reason because I'm not actually going to open this bottle. I actually have a second bottle. See, two. Let's have a quick look at the graphics of this one. Brew dogs, kingpin. Century Lager. Just need to find what it says about flavour. Actually, no. Let's not do flavour this time. Let's just let's just roll right into it. So, follow. This is this is the cold one, which was in the fridge. No head. Good. So, mmm, smells like a lager. Smells like a lager. Smells like a lager. Tastes like a lager. I know this one's not exactly a beer, but it's in the beer aisle, so it counts. Um, bit, um, ooh, spat everywhere. This one is a little bit more thicker than normal lager, like in the Stella, or Tenants, or something along those lines. A little bit of hoppiness, not a major amount. It's a lager, um, it's, it's made differently. I am not a brew master. Brewed with 100% malt and a juggernaut of hops. This cold, conditioned king lies oh, recumbent. What does recumbent mean? Recumbent, relating to or denoting an organism, cell, or genetic material formed by recombination. That's the wrong thing. What does recumbent mean? Recumbent, especially of a person or effigy, lying down. Brewed with 100% malt and a juggernaut of hops, this cold condition king lies laying down for a full five weeks, except the first wave of robust, fully bodied malt character to hit, then spicy citrus notes charged across the palate and an assertive bitter finish win, bitter finish win the day, bitter finish win the day. An assertive bitter finish when the day. Finish when the day. That doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> it's like I had the dyslexic doing this. And I'm dyslexic and I see that that doesn't seem right. Would I buy this again? Yes. Yes. Yes, I would. But if I had the option, I would choose something else if it was just one chill out beer. Yeah, this is the one to go for. Roll on beer two. Do one of these without a fail. Back at it again with beer number two. Um, so this time I have Skipper's Tickle. Let's have a look at it. Ugh. Ugh. Just notice how dirty my glasses are. Ugh. So Skipper's Tipple, craft brewing from the Shetland Isles. What's the blurb? Shetland is a seafaring place. What's a boil? Its sailors, traders, explorers and fishermen have always roamed the foaming tide. A ship's captain licensed in the port. What license is the passport to... Ta blah de blah blah. Little map? Shetland is not that big. It's just indicating that Shetland is, you know, quite a bit away from 
the UK and volume is 0.4 so this is from Lerwick Brewery and it doesn't actually say anything about the flavour that's a uh, that's kind of a bit lacklustre so let's crack it open interesting where did I put my bottle opener Crack this little Shetland pony up. Little Shetland pony up. I don't know what I'm saying. It's a pale ale. Hmm. Seems very dark. And I've kind of got a blocked nose. So I can't really smell that much. Again with the metal on the. I'm going to have to start drinking these in glasses. I can I can test I can test I can test the metal. It's a pale ale. Except for the metal taste on the bottle. Nothing wrong with it. But ultimately nothing brilliant about it. Would I buy this again? <clears throat> yes. I could easily buy a couple of these and not mind if someone was to drink it. Because it's not one of my favourites but it's not a hated one. So, middle thumb? So, beer three. Uh, Wahoo, Woo Ha, Woo Ha. Brewing Company, Wheat. 6.4. Now, where's this come from? Hmm, having a look here. The Wuha Wheat, Citrus Bursts, de de Delighted Malt Flavoured Mosher. The Wuha Brewing Company specialises in producing traditional ales and lager, which is conditioned in the bottle as opposed to a cask, meaning that it's always fresh and is perfect condition. Brewing in the Highlands of Scotland. Is it me or does it just seem to be Scotland that can do? brews or something, or is that all that I can find that's locally? I don't know. I really don't know. Let's crack this one open now. Still can't smell too well, but it smells like a uh, Smells wheaty. Oh. Oh. I think this one went wrong. <clears throat> I think this one went very, very wrong. It is very much a wheat beer. A wheat, not wheat. Definitely got the citrus. <clears throat> uh, this is in Nairn. I'm gonna have to source some different beers. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you're able to see through that, but you can definitely. Definitely see the wheat. So it's a bits in it. Very citrus, very fresh and reviving. Yeah, I'd buy that again, but not not for the winter. That's this is more of a, a summer 
sitting down in the park, having the barbecue. You want like a heavy beer or something for that? Well, wheat is the way to go. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this one. Uh, quite nice. Maybe not as fast as that. Oh. Thank you for watching the second episode. And next week we'll have three more beers, and hopefully this time they will be outside of Scotland, because this is starting to become a little bit silly that it's nothing but Scotland. Hmm. Guess no one makes craft brews like us. <laughs>